everybody welcome back to the channel this is rachel i'm kevin and you are following hidden heights farm vlog adventures you never know what you're gonna see on our channel <laughs> but today uh being serious now we're gonna get into filling our raised bed gardens up with some of our compost and uh we've been putting this off for a while but i'm actually glad because we're not gonna let this fool us again or trick us again we're not gonna fall for this again right because <laughs> They're calling for freezing temperatures in a couple days. Yeah. And we have seeds started already in the house. We got some in the shop. Uh, we got seeds started ready to plant. We got plants like this big in the house underneath the heat lamp or the grow light, whatever. And we haven't put them out yet because the weather has been horrible. It's been raining like every day. And just last night on the news, they said freeze warning Wednesday morning. Today is Saturday and snow possibilities so we yeah snow we were gonna fill up the beds today and then do the planting but we're just gonna do the work and fill the beds up and not do the planting we're gonna prep them basically well, right because in the past we've learned from our mistakes um i can't remember oklahoma northeast oklahoma's last frost date um we've seen it snow on kaya's birthday which is may 2nd yes. before like in 2013 or something so you never know. Um, you guys know I, I did the Walmart video showing you how expensive garden plants are. Uh, seeds are getting hard to find. Just finding plants are getting hard to find in our area. So after this little cold spell comes through, I think you're going to see a lot of people regretting planting their vegetable plants way too early. And we actually did plant some seeds a while back. Cold weather crop seeds. Yes, cold weather. And they... I mean, it killed them. Yeah, because let we me had show you. Freeze. So what she's talking about is, I planted a bunch of cold weather stuff. Uh, we got some spinach, we got carrots, and some beets left. But half of it is gone. Um, yeah. We had a hard freeze come in, and this stuff is supposed to be able to withstand some of it. But that's why we say we're not falling for this again. No, we are <laughs> because not. Because we done fell for it once this season. And here's dandelion growing in our little onion patch. The onions wasn't affected, and we do got some cayenne pe pepper started. We'll have to cover them up probably. But we did already put some of the compost in these side beds, and now I'll show you guys what we're going to do. You can kind of see there's only about half the dirt filled up in these raised beds now because over time it kind of decomposes and does its thing. So we need to try to get those built back up a little bit. We're not going to fill them all the way up because when it rains and stuff, a lot of times it'll kind of overflow and the dirt will kind of just get wasted on the sides. Yeah, it splashes out. But that's what that's we're going to do. But um, first, Rachel was going to do this since she's... Oh, uh, I got it zoomed in. Rachel was going to do this since she's home full time the other day, but she went out to uh, get on the tractor and realized the uh, grapple was on the front of the tractor because yeah. we just took it over to her grandpa's we the other day. We put it to work. Put it to work <laughs> and I didn't put the uh, actual bucket back on the loader yet but today i'm going to show her how to do that um i don't really want her doing it if i'm not here because it is a little dangerous and tricky and disconnecting the hydraulic hoses can be a pain for me even so i am going to show her how to do it just in case you know i'm not around and she really needs to uh get it swapped out i think it's a good skill to know it's not that hard to do but the hoses can be hard but i just want to learn everything i can so yeah I don't have to necessarily wait on you to do projects. Like I can start some and be right. more of an asset and help than having to wait on you to do something. So. Sure. Um, that's a good thing. And if you guys can hear this wind, it is straight out of the north. It's, <laughs> it's like cold. It's like 48 degrees right now. My hands are pretty cold. I'm froze. We're, we had sunshine and nice days there for a while. And then all of a sudden this cold north wind blew in. Yeah. And it had 80 like yeah. 80 something one day and i'm like wow this is nice and then now it's freezing it's again. been raining for like three straight days but i'm gonna go get the tractor fired up and we'll pull it over there and i'll show her how to uh connect up to the bucket i can't wait to learn yep okay guys so we come in here to get the key to the tractor and we heard some uh new baby chick uh little cheapen in here and we forgot to tell you all ago we've got several new surprises that we're going to show you towards the end of the video but here's one of them Yesterday, I think we had two hatching. Most of these eggs are the little banny eggs, which we are trying to get some more of our little, uh, hold on, I can't focus on it because my hand. We're 
trying to get some more of the little bannies like our uh, little banny rooster Pedro. And this is one of them. I don't know what color it's going to be for sure, but. We'll Pretty exciting. Him, we'll go put him in the brooder with the rest of them. And like Rachel said, stay tuned towards the end of the video when we get the uh, garden beds done. We got a little surprise for you. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we are getting look so how, many chicks. Look at the size difference, guys. Big time difference. I mean, tiny. Okay, whenever the light goes off, it sounds like it went off. Go ahead and crank it up. Crank it up. Okay, so we got the uh, bucket on the front loader. Now we're gonna go get a big scoop of compost. Then we'll use the gorilla cart to transfer it to that. And then into the raised beds, we'll dump it and just continue the process until we got the raised beds filled up to where they need to be. Okay, so while Rachel has a bucket full of this compost headed to our garden area, I wanna show you guys, if you're new to the channel, this is one of our compost piles and the majority of this is uh, wood chips from the local electric company that come through, clear the power lines and all that and they mulch everything up and they come here and dumped it. But added to that is all the bedding from our goat barn 
and all the goat poo and all that good stuff we mix it in there let it rain i'll kind of show you guys what i'm talking about and i'll show you my best friend over here miss daisy what well, you know girl how you feeling today sweet girl her little nose is still hurting her we're waiting to uh get her next visit so they can get that thing fixed for good and we don't have to worry about it again but a lot of this is the waste from the hay from the feeder this is another project we're going to be doing here at a later date in a couple days probably you can see how much of this bedding and hay is just wasted so that makes awesome compost you just add it over here to the pile and uh mix it in and let the bacteria do its job they heard me Crazy nights, figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need The there is breakneck, paycheck All right, we got the last of the buckets dumped in the raised beds. Rachel's gonna finish leveling this one out a little bit. That was just a little bit of the leftovers out of that last bucket. But we added these two additional raised beds, these little uh, four by four square foot ones. Actually, four by four feet, not square feet. 
be 16 square feet actually. But that's gonna be, this is probably gonna be like our melon or pumpkin beds. And then you guys can see we got all these beds nice and filled up with this lush compost. Got a few little uh, pieces of grass and stuff in there. You don't want that in there. But looking good, our strawberries. Look at these strawberries, guys. They are loaded this year with blooms already and little bitty berries starting to form. But everything's coming along good. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna wait for this freeze warning to get out of here. And then we'll probably do some planting later this week or maybe next weekend. It's no rush because the plants don't actually start doing well and putting on until it gets a certain temperature anyways. Even if you're a few weeks behind, usually your plants will catch up. Um, we're gonna finish leveling all this out. We got our drip irrigation kind of put back in the beds. We still got to redo some of that because some of them got broke and stuff. But right now we're gonna go grab some feed and we got some stuff to show you over in the Pico pen. We got some new baby goats that we have not been able to show you on video yet. So stay tuned. We'll grab some feed, feed mojo, and we'll go check out the baby chicks. We got some baby chicks with the, well, the mama's hatched baby chicks out and they're running around the yard somewhere. So we'll try to catch up with them and we'll go see these new baby goats. Rachel's trying to get some slow-mo footage of the baby chicks. They are about, what, four days old probably, or five? Here, Mama. You don't like me that close. <sighs> So this mama's got three, and uh, that black banny over there, she's only got one, I think. And then I think another mama has one, but. Food boy. Better eat, bro. The turkey's gonna get your food. You getting any uh, footage? I don't know. We'll see. All right, where's the new babies? Oh, they're over here playing. Guys, we got two different babies. Uh, two singles. We got another boy and a girl. Uh, that one's kind of hiding. That's them right there. And uh, their mom is Boots and Boots and Bambi. Bambi, the pulled one. Aren't they cute? Yep. <laughs> That's the little boy. That's the little boy, yeah. And then the little girl. She said, don't mess with me, man. There's the little girl. She's hiding. I see you. Peekaboo. <laughs> They're so cute. What's he doing? We wanted to come out here and show you guys the two new additions to the farm. They're already uh, doing very well. They're up and playful. They're a couple days old. We haven't done a video in a few days, but... Did we tell everybody what we named that one? We did it in the live, but... That one right here, this little girl, her name is Little Boo. <laughs> so there's Ghostface, her mom. Well, That's she keeps running Boo. behind Rachel. Hey. And uh, we decided to name her Little Boo. And I don't know how these chickens don't get stepped on. 
They are uh, very great. What's going on over here? Ah! Oh, sometimes I get choked on that feet a little bit. They're, they, this, ah! is, this is where they go from uh, drinking mama's milk and they start trying to eat the feed and they're not used to it being dry in their throats and they kind of get choked a little bit. <clears throat> you can see he's trying to chew it up. Okay, it's freezing up. This guy's dancing up here on the reels. You a boy or a girl? You got a pretty little face. You okay? They'll foam at the mouth and stuff sometimes. They spit that up. It's kind of gross. Yeah, spit it out. Yeah. See a clump of it. Oh. Hey there, buddy. What? Mama's all puffed out over here. Because the goats get a little too close and start going crazy with the feed. When they see the feed and the mamas start trying to protect their babies because the babies just about get stampeded. You got Mr. Turkey out here. He's all fluffed out doing his thing. But yeah, these babies are just teeny tiny. Boo, let me see your face. She's a pretty little girl. All right, we had to take a little uh, break from recording because this little goat got choked. And uh, Rachel and I grabbed it, took it over there, and got some water in its mouth. And I think it's okay now. Yeah, I think it's cleared. It's just part of them trying to transition from uh, weaning from their mom. Uh, they start kind of nibbling on some grain, and it is dry and dusty, and they kind of get choked on it. Mojo started freaking out. He wanted to make sure the baby was okay. You might put it down so he can check it. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, he's kissing it. Good boy. Good boy, Mo. Good boy. So he's all better now. Yeah, sometimes. Good job. You just got to put the camera down and take care of business. Yeah, should have <laughs> well, just left it rolling. But anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much today's video. Uh, we don't have a lot more to show you right now. The ducks are growing. I'll try to get some GoPro footage and uh, <laughs> show you guys that. What are you laughing at? Oh, that little girl. This little goat. Look at her. Isn't she cute? That's one of the new babies. That's yes, the little girl. That's Boots' little baby. Yes, isn't she cute? She is a doll. That's her mom right there. The one with the brown and the black legs. Black stripe down her back. They're so She's cute. gonna be a keeper here on the farm. Her mom is a, a really good goat. She's big, healthy. Boo's gonna be a really pretty goat, just like Ghostface right here. Look at them, they look just alike. In their face. Yeah, they have the... Uh... So, you glad we got the garden uh, prepared? Yes, yes. So yes. What, what did we say earlier? What's the title of this video? Uh... <laughs> I, <laughs> I already forgot. forgot. Oh, I done We're forgot. not going to fall for this again or something like that? I don't remember. I don't remember. We said it in the <laughs> beginning, but I've done forgot. Yep. I have a terrible memory. <laughs> so, like I said, we're going to wait. Uh, we got the raised beds ready to go. All we got to do is put the plants in the ground, hook up our irrigation system, and we're ready to go. Yeah. One, we can't put the plants in the ground or they're going to freeze, and we'll have to do the work twice and waste the money on the plants that we already got. Yes. Or the seeds we've already started. Two, if we hook the water up now, it's gonna freeze too. We gotta undo our uh, water hoses again and put the faucet covers back on for the freeze protection. Yep, that's so, Oklahoma weather. You never know, <laughs> it's it's almost the first of May and uh, it's, it's crazy, guys. Yep. So anyways, thanks for staying tuned to this video. Thanks for tuning in today, whatever I meant to say. Um, we're still waiting to get the appointment for Daisy to get her procedure done. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel so you can follow that adventure, follow the adventure of our plants. Rachel is going to be planning on doing hopefully some canning and stuff this year if we can get some uh, of our crops grown. Yeah. Hopefully we can get some fruit off the trees this year. Like I said, the frost is coming, the freeze is coming, not the frost, the freeze. Yeah, we done passed the whole frost deal and now, I mean, it's still freezing. And like all, all of our fruit trees are bloomed out right now. Some of them's already been bloomed out and they have fruit on them. 
This is why it is so hard to raise fruit in Oklahoma because they kind of the trees start blooming early and then because uh, we'll get some warm days for a week or two, mm -hmm. like up in the 80s, and then all of a sudden you're hit with the 30s and 20s. It tricks you. It tri Mother Nature is very tricky <laughs> here in Oklahoma. So anyways guys, you got anything to say? Yes, I want to end our video with one of my favorite quotes. Um, and just to remind you guys that we rise by lifting others. I don't know who said that. I did not come up with that, but that is one of my favorite quotes. I think it was Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I mean Einstein. No, it was not. I'm just kidding. But anyway, yeah. Just remember that. That's something that we try and live by here. We rise by lifting others up. Uh, just be encouraging and joyful to others. Um, be positive and, you know, God bless you guys. We appreciate all keep, of you. We keep love on you. keeping on. Yeah. Yeah, we love all you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Yep, we'll see you. See ya.